there's an urgency, it's huge, and it isn't about future generations anymore. I think most of us are of the generation that when we were at school, we talked about future generations. But now, those future generations are our children and young people we know. But also with everything we've been hearing about aging, it's hit us with our parents, and it's about to hit us personally. So we're in the midst of all this, and yes, we're scared, um, but actually we need to move beyond that uh, fear. And again, there was one group talking about, we don't take our best decisions when we're in fear mode. So if we're going to move us and transition us to more sustainable, happier, better world, we need a vision for that better world that we can buy into, something we want to move towards. And I quote Leslie kind of further on this. Sometimes I remember when kind of in my classes, she will often tell the students, it is better for you to know where you're heading, even if you're zigzagging. But if you're moving away from something because you don't want to be here, we're all scared, then we can be going in all sorts of different directions. And that means we're not necessarily pulling in the same direction. So visioning, but also communicating that world, looking more broadly at value, what value is being created, what value is being lost, and redefining our notions of success. I think we're coming up almost in all the groups, no matter what the subject um, was. And then there were the practicalities. Stand up, speak up, write, use your voice, change the language, change the story. Little things matter. And Steph gave us the example of cancer research. Okay, I say I'm blown away. I do race for life and it's always I can do my little bit. I always thought, yeah, it helps because I want to do my little bit. I didn't know that actually collectively it was so huge. Then we were given the theory of change. So yes, our little bits or bigger bits use the theory of change, map out where you're going. The bit that was disturbing in one of the last groups was actually this also we had a discussion around choice versus public good. And where when you're stuck, you're scared, you've got your family, you think you make choices that are not necessarily for the public good. And so going, how do we balance that? That's a big challenge. Citizens boards keep coming up to me. To my mind, that's one choice of doing it. When you sit on a citizens board, you start making choices for the public good and less about you, but still, yeah, theory, I don't know, but there's definitely a tension there. Over and over again, we talk, there were discussions about market and capital system failures and how the market system is pushing us to an unsustainable way of doing, being, and everything. But I remind you that entrepreneurs are market disruptors. There are a few, many in this group, but you each one are as well. So rebel, join a movement, or start your own, but do something. And together, we can do so much more than alone. So we were also looked up at, you know, look up tree sisters. If that's nothing else that you do, planting trees has, is one of the few positive things we know will work. Plant a tree, join the movements. But I love the kind of the ending, the kind of notions that were coming together that Giti were saying, you're not perfect, you're unique, you're powerful, and you're amazing agents of change.